I leveled and clamped the first cedar slat to the fence post and pre-drilled holes to prevent splitting. I then attached the slat with decking screws. I used a scrap of half-inch plywood as a spacer and worked my way down the front face of the fence. As usual, Penny and Pepper hung around to make sure I did the job right. Quack, 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 quack. And another section was finished. All right, enough ducking around. You guys keep asking to see my babes, so here you go. She moves pretty fast for a Mediterranean shrimp. When we finished installing the slats, I stained them to bring out the warm tones that look so good with the black posts. To give my babe's privacy screen a more high-end look, I made corner trim from some scrap cedar strips that I glued together and painted black. I think the trim takes this fence from a simple weekend DIY project to something I'll be showing my grandkids someday. I attached the trim with decking screws, and then I filled the screw holes with wood filler and repainted the trim. Necessary? No. Fabulous? Fuck yeah. For anyone about to say, well, I don't like the black and wood with the brick, I will simply say this. I am about to limewash our red brick house to white, and this fence is going to pop. So stick that in your comment hole and smoke it.